We're making cute little bag tags today. Come on in. Hello everybody, it's Julia Laird with Senior Susie Stamps and today is Scrap Card Thursday. So I have a cute little project to work uh, on today I wanted to show you. I got the original idea from Siri, C-E-R-I Griffiths and it was his two minute pocket from a 12 by 12 uh, sheet of designer paper. And I was looking at that and I thought, oh, you know, I think that's something that we could do on a smaller scale. So I have a, a piece of uh, scrap cardstock here and it is about five and a half inches square and then cut on the diagonal. Let me show you what we're going to work on today. It's these cute little tag cards uh, that go with a matching bag. And um, these bags are super simple to do. I thought we'd do one bag and a tag today. Let me show you another example. This one's got some little bells. Now I get these bags from the Dollar Tree. They're either three for a dollar and a quarter or two for a dollar and a quarter depending upon the size. And um, I think this little concept with these little uh, faux envelopes uh, is just wonderful for this type of thing. I got a third one. Hang on. This one's a little bit bigger and I made it out of some single-sided designer paper and then I put a little um, extra piece in here and just made a little tiny card out of some white scrap paper. And the little Santa has a little star button so I made a couple star buttons there and then I did my tree on the bag. So let's get started for today and I already have my triangle cut out of a scrap that I had left. I have a tag that was left over from last year. Um, and I thought we would use that. Now this, um, the surface on this has got just a little bit of shine to it and I was afraid that the ink would smudge. So I made a little piece that we're going to glue to the back of this just to stamp the sentiment on. And then I had this fun pink and gold paper that I thought would kind of go with that. Uh, and I added a little bit of Copic marker to the plaid. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it gives just a tiny little hint of yellow in that plaid. There is some yellow in this paper. This is one of my favorite paper packs, and it's called Buttercup, uh, and it's from um, paperwishes.com. And then I have another uh, piece of white because I wanted to make a little insert for this little envelope that we're going to make. Now, you need a scoreboard and what drives the measurement is how wide your insert is and this one is two and a quarter. What we want then is a two and a half inch wide faux envelope and what I'm going to do is to put this on one of my black lines here. So this one happens to be at five and a half inches and I'm going to put that little tip of the point right there on the five and a half inch mark. So I want it to be two and a half inches so that's an inch and a quarter on each side. Does that make sense? So that would be six and a half plus a quarter is six and three quarters. There we go. And then so this is five and a half. It'd be four and a half to four and a quarter. And that gives us our two and a half inch envelope. And then all we're going to do, that's all I need the scoreboard for. Let me get rid of that. These are simple and they're quick and they're fun to decorate. Just let your imagination go wild. So here we go. And you'll see there's a little extra on this one. Not to worry, we're just going to trim that off. That is perfectly fine. And then this will slip right down inside of there and hang on a bag. Now, before I glue this up, I want to put my 
insert inside. So I'm going to measure from here to here and that is an inch and three quarters. So I'm going to cut this piece at an inch and three quarters square. I modified this trimmer and put a little piece of um, acetate packaging down here that I cut good and straight and I just glued it on with my ATG gun so I've got a little lip there to put my paper up against. I love it. <laughs> However, I did find a new Tim Holtz trimmer uh, and I will probably start using it soon. Now I'm going to round the corner of this and I'm going to use my quarter inch rounder and I'm going to round the top of this and then that should fit right up in there for our little insert. So let's get that glued in and all I'm going to do is decorate this up using my little tag as a reference point for the stars. I've got some little stars punched out over here. Let me get this glued in first. Uh -oh, come on back here now. <laughs> here we go. I'm going to leave a little small border. You wouldn't have to. You could put it all the way up to the top if you wanted to, and that would be fine, too. There we go. Now I'm going to punch a hole in the center for my hanger up here at the top while I've still got it flat, and it's easy to do. There we go. And now I'm going to glue these parts down. Now I'm just going to put a little small line of glue on both of these ends. I will leave a link to Siri's um, video for 12 by 12 because he was doing pockets for um, journaling, I think, if I'm not mistaken, which I don't do, but um, I just thought this was a grand idea to use up some scraps. Now, because this little tag has some little yellow stars and some blue snowflakes on it, I'm going to add some stars into this white area up here, and I've already got some punched. So that's all we're going to do now is just add some stars in a kind of a random pattern that will decorate that area just a little bit. Yellow and white's not really a Christmassy color, but it was on the tag, so I thought, well, we'll just go with it. Why not? <laughs> there. Now I'm going to stamp this with a little small stamp that is from Stampendous 2007. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. I'm going to stamp it in Versifying. And this gives you a sweet little card tag to give a gift to. The ones that I made, for example, I'm going to be giving to our Adopt-A-Class teacher. I belong to a women's group at church and we have an Adopt-A-Class program for fifth graders. And uh, for the teacher every year, we try to do some little something something for her that she can use in her own personal life. And so I thought some of these bags would be nice for her to have to use and then I'm going to add some of those little stars on the back as well and that kind of carries this 
right on through from the front to the back. And there. And here's this. Right like that. I need to put my little hanger on there. I've got some yellow and white twine. I got it at the Dollar Tree. You can get it just about anywhere. But uh, I just make a single fold, push it through, and wrap my tines up in there and pull them right out. And then this is ready to tie on the bag. Now you can leave it that way if you want to. I wanted to see if some of this Merry Christmas washi tape will fit on that and it doesn't so that one's kind of out of the question there we won't be using that I wonder if some of this will work with the presents on it you could do a little piece of this paper and uh, let's see hmm. I think maybe I'll just do some washi tape instead Let's just come right across like that. Give myself just enough to wrap around. Drop just a little bit of glue on the back just in case this washi tape doesn't have quite enough tack to hold. And then pull my tape right straight across there. And trim it off. There we go. Now I wanted to put a few little extra white stars on this surface area. Since I have them cut over here, I might as well use them. And there's the tag done. Now, what I'm going to do with these pieces is to make my cuts for the bag and I'm just going to cut them in half inch strips and then we'll cut them down from there. I'm starting at three inches and it looks like I need to even that up so it's exactly three. Trimmed off just a teeny piece but that does make a difference. So let me get this cut and I'll be right back. Now this piece is starting out at six, so I'm going to take a half inch off each one of these. Try to keep them in order. So that was five and a half. This one's going to be five. There, and then I have some little leftover pieces that we can cut for the top. Here. Well, maybe I have them all now. Okay, let's get these glued on the bag. I'm going to use a tape runner because these bags are uh, fairly sticky with tape runner. I've tried to pull off and they stick pretty well. So <laughs> that's the voice of experience talking to you now. In the back of that paper pretty, I had to struggle to decide which side to use. But I finally ended up with the plaid. Now what I want to do is to grab a scrap of white paper out of my small white paper scrap tray. And I'm going to use that for a spacer here. And I'm just going to put this in the middle of the bag and work myself up into a nice Christmas tree here moving my spacer up every time I put one down. That makes sense? <laughs> Hope so. You just have to watch your outside edges and kind of stay where you need to be. And then just keep moving on up. There we go. Not many more to do. 
I've made several cards like this. In fact, I think I showed you one if you came over to the Facebook page. Let me show you just in case I didn't. See, this is kind of the concept that uh, brought the uh, tree to mind for these bags. But that was the card that I made out of some scraps that were left over from last week's video, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. These make great little gifts for people. They're very functional, easy to use, and people really appreciate them. And they're simple, 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 simple to make. And they use scraps. So it's a win, 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 win as far as I'm concerned. And you can see how you just build your tree that way. And you turn a plain white paper bag into a sweet little Christmas bag with very little effort. And I think just one more because I want to leave room for the star that goes on top. And looks like we're going to need to glue it kind of right on the top here. So, and I will use glue on the star. And then I have some smaller stars that are a little bit larger than the ones that we put on the tag. So I thought I would put some of those out here on the edges, like I did with those other bags. and just kind of finish it up that way. There we go. And now this little sweet guy will hang right here. I'll wrap it around for right now. But he'll hang right there. And there's our bag done with a sweet little tag. Have yourself a merry little Christmas and you can sign it on the inside. It makes a great little gift to give or you can fill it with something and give it as a bag yourself with a gift. So this is Julia and I hope you've enjoyed today. Let me show you one more thing because you can take this same concept and make it into a card. Now, this is a flat surface card. There's no, no opening card, but the card is here. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> now, you remember these tags I made several uh, weeks ago, or maybe a couple months ago now, um, and then I cut them on Scan and Cut and layered them up on Scan and Cut. So, it was using up the scraps of that, and I had some of this paper left over, so I used that. Um, and it makes a sweet little card and there's plenty of room to write a little uh, message here or you could do another little sentiment stamp back here if you wanted to. So this concept works really well for tags and for cards. So let me show you the lineup again just in case you missed them the first time. Here's the one with the angel. Here's Santa and the bell. And then here's another little Santa Claus. So have a great week, y'all, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.